Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're going to showcase for you all something that they showed off today in the NGS headline. And it's going to be a card game coming up in July. I actually was pretty shocked and interested in seeing this. So let's go ahead and show you all a little bit here on the screen. So Sega showed off today in the headline that we're going to be getting a card game on PSO2, and it's actually going to be like a mini game. So you'll actually be able to battle other players and as well NPCs, and you'll be able to like play against each other with these cards. And it actually seems like they have cards themed off of the original base game and as well off of NGS too. And I'm sure there's probably going to be like even like some cards like based off of like previous Fantasy Star series, I would imagine. Like, uh, especially against like uh, like Adola and like PSO2 ES and so forth. I do believe the original PSO even actually had uh, a card game to it, which is pretty interesting. Like the original PSO episode three, if I'm not mistaken, on GameCube actually was like a card game. So I actually thought it was really cool and interesting to see that whenever they showcase some of the cards that they're going to have in the game, whenever they're doing the battles with each other, it actually looks like there's going to be an unranked version and there's also a ranked version too. So you'll be able to kind of like have like a rank in the game off of it and stuff of sorts. I suppose uh, I, I'm assuming that we might actually be able to get like a new source of star gems from this which would be pretty interesting so hopefully there'll be like a ranking per week or per month or maybe there'll be like little like ranks for like beating certain NPCs and stuff like that I'm sure which will hopefully give some star gems hopefully there'll be some sort of currency that comes off of it or something or another uh, but I also thought it was really interesting whenever they showed the NPC cards battling they actually have like voice lines to them and stuff too so that's pretty cool they actually use some of the old base PSL2 voice lines uh, some of the voice lines will probably actually come from like PSL2 ES and stuff if you played PSL2 ES they actually had like a lot of the little various voice lines off of like the character chips which is basically like cards in that game. PSO2 ES was sort of like a card game in its own rights. So it's actually pretty interesting. They show that you'll be able to battle NPCs and as well, you'll also be able to battle other players too. Now, they didn't give us too much information on this yet. I'm pretty interested in finding out more about it though. Now, the main thing I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that you'll be able to actually go and like practice against like other NPCs to get their cards, you know, like, like say for example, if I was to go duel against Crawford, if I was to get Crawford's card for beating Crawford, I think that would be really cool. Like it would add like a neat dynamic to the game, being able to like interact with all the various NPCs in the game and stuff, or like hopefully they'll actually do like some sort of like title rewards tasks and stuff like that, or like uh, maybe like have like some as like drops from missions or like add it to like seasonal shops and stuff like that. I guess like the biggest fear for us would be that we don't want them to add it to just strictly AC, right? We don't want it to be like a pay to win kind of thing. That would kind of ruin the card game in my opinion for me. So I'm sure that they're going to monetize it, of course, but uh, I just hope that the stuff will be tradable, you know? So like I hope people just paying money don't have a complete advantage over others. Hopefully, hopefully if they do decide to add these cards and stuff to like AC scratches or SC scratches and stuff like that, It'll be things that players can actually obtain via a means of not actually spending their credit cards on, you know. But hopefully that'll actually be a thing. Hopefully we'll be able to actually like purchase these things from a set of from player shops or just farm them in the game from various methods and stuff. I'm actually pretty excited to learn more about it though. I think this will be a pretty neat little dynamic to the game. It's quite a bit different. It's quite a bit of thinking outside of the box. I know a lot of players would like to see them add like other content to the game, but I think it's always cool to have like various other things that you could do in the game in your downtime. You know, like say if your friends like, you know, taking a little break or something, you and some friends while you're waiting in the lobby, you could go have like some card battles against each other. You know, so it does add for a nice little thing of downtime and just like uh, some variants in the game, just different ways that you can play and enjoy the game. It's always a good thing in my opinion. Now something of note, I did think it was pretty cool that they did mention on a lap letter too. They said that this card game was actually, they've been working on this since 2021, basically right around when NGS had originally dropped. So it's actually something that's just been kind of like a side project for them and they've just slowly worked on over the past three years. So I guess they didn't really have a lot of dev time exactly dedicated to it. So it didn't really take away from a lot of the content that we normally already have anyways which was cool to hear. But I'm curious, what do you all think about the card game that was real today? Let me know down in the comments below, please. I'm pretty curious to see how everybody's gonna like this. I'm like, I've really not played a lot of card games myself, but it does look pretty interesting. I think it's something I might enjoy. Okay, so that's going to wrap it up for the video. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day, friends. I'll see you all in the next one.